this is Gilbert Robinson here. You know, thank you for watching. I always appreciate it. Like and subscribe, and you know, I'll just keep trying to drop some good content. Now, um, this has been a topic that's been talked about. I have to say, from what I've seen, like t for years to come, 2008 or something, like probably before then, um, there was basically a discussion of dolphins committing suicide. Now, it's been talked about in ways where people weren't too sure if it was even possible. Some people say they could, some people say they couldn't, some people still don't know. Um, well, I was reading an article recently, and I'll post it up. Hopefully, um, I could re I could find it again because sometimes I just read stuff, I jot it down, and then I, you know. But anyway, so um, there's a major, there's a specific area in South America where they did not say a location, which was weird. But you know, I'm, that's their business. I'm just making a video about what I read, and um, this was an area where they really caught a lot of dolphins, like this is a re one of the regular areas, and they would catch up the 30 or 40 dolphins a day, you know, less, you know, obviously days are different, and they would catch them not specifically to torture them or to, you know, do animal cruelty, but to, for captivity, you know, to send them to like places like SeaWorld and, you know, aquariums where they were um, available for human display. Now, the crazy part about this is that there's animals that really, you know, obviously get tortured, and they don't really commit suicide, you know, if you, they, if the person kills them, then they kill them, but these animals were actually committing suicide all because of um, the separation from their family, so, and that's pretty weird, you know, and I could, I could believe that, because, you know, Animals have feelings. I mean, we sometimes we tend to oversee that, and we happen to think that animals are just stupid. You know, they have no brains, they have no way of life, no way of thinking. They're just dumb animals, and that's that's a big misconception because animals have feelings. You know, I mean, I mean, it sounds it sounds so common to say, but a lot of people oversee that. And how this works is that the nets that they use to catch the dolphins are pretty big freaking nets, and obviously. Like even catching fish, you're not going to catch all of them. So how this works is in some cases, you know, some of the dolphins escape and then, you know, the ones that are caught, they're all separated. They're all bought from different vendors and separated. And that's how the stress is caused. So some dolphins live alone. They're, they're held captive. They're held, they're held captive alone in some areas while some have two or three. And nine out of ten chance, they're all separated from the dolphins they were originally with. Now, what this does is it causes a lot of stress. And then you, they, they really, and stress is very unhealthy for anybody. Humans, animals, stress is unhealthy. So it obviously takes more of a toll on them than it would us. Because we're stressed out every day, but, you know, some people obviously will kill themselves. But a normal person would not kill themselves. They kind of just bear with it. Well... What happened is a specific area where this guy had to be watching about five, five or ten, five to ten dolphins. He actually came back and saw that about three or four of them were dead. They committed suicide, and you know, um, this is actually not even in just this area, but this is a recurring event in different areas where dolphins are killing themselves, and that you know. They're starting to look more into held, holding dolphins for captivity. It's in research. It's actually being looked into more now. And, you know, I just think that's not really... I don't, I don't like it. I don't like the idea of holding an animal anyway, you know, with zoos and aquariums. I don't really like that because it's not right that we do that to animals. We hold them in areas where they don't belong, you know. And I feel like if we were going to do something like this, we should make it so that it's more satisfying for the animal, you know, like we should put them in areas where, you know, they still have their space and their freedom instead of, you know, holding them in a cage where it's one animal that's even too big for the cage. I've even seen that sometimes where you've got like an animal the size of a gazelle or even a gazelle that's in this little cage that they can barely turn around. I mean, how do you expect the animal to live like that? And the fact that the, these animals are being separated from their families, I could imagine that it sucks because the animals don't really do nothing. They don't have no space to go anywhere, you know? And it sucks. It's, it's, to me, that's another form of animal cruelty. I mean, duh, obviously. But, you know, we, we tend to overlook this stuff. We tend to always see that animal cruelty is killing them and skinning them, you know, selling furs off the animals, like... That to us is animal cruelty, but this is like the biggest form of animal cruelty because this is a torture that they have to experience alive. You know, they have to be sitting in the same cage by themselves for 
their lifespan depending on how long they live and you know obviously they take care of them so they'll live their full life if they don't die of the stress you know so some of these animals have been in here for 10 15 years and it's like they do the same thing every day they can't roam around they can't live their natural habitat so you know this is just my thoughts on it I, I don't think it's right at all i think the animals should be treated just as equally as humans I mean, obviously that's not going to happen because, you know, in some cases we eat animals and, you know, we need them. But I just, me personally, I'm not for it. You know, there's definitely other ways around torturing animals. I know this, the people know it, we all know this. But the question is if we're going to actually listen to it and find a way around it is way beyond my thoughts. Because, you know, who knows what the world holds for this kind of stuff and who knows if the things are going to change. So that's my view on it. You know, the fact that dolphins are committing suicide should kind of be uh, an alarm to people who are capturing them. Um, actually, if they're going to capture them for captivity, you know, for ex exhibitions and museums, not museums, aquariums, that they should look more into the their surroundings, you know. Or if not, then stop capturing them. That's my opinion, though. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. And, you know... I just, I saw this and I felt like I should post it up right away before I forgot because, you know, I'm a big animal lover and, you know, stuff like this always bothered me. So let me know your thoughts. Uh, let me know what you think about this and enjoy. And uh, I'll keep posting up videos for you. So see you on the other side.